It's not only coming to the gym and lifting. It revolves around everything. You have to give up everything if you want to succeed in this sport. of someone else. My legs really need this kind of pressure. The loneliness, the solitude, the anger, the passion, drive, violence, that's what this is requiring. The whole goal of years I was competing was, was living like a monk. So I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't go to a movie if it meant I was going to get home after 11.30 because I need to get a bed at 12 and I need to eat at 11. And all these things, you know, everything had to work around. So it's almost like I was trying to create the perfect environment all the time for me to get the results from the training. And that's the thing with bodybuilding, it's not just the training when you go to the gym and then you think, like, oh, let's forget about that and go home. No, it's with you all the time because you've got to eat the right things at the right time and You've got to eat very frequently, every two and a half to three hours. You're going to have the required nutrition and so on. So it's like a real regime. You know, everything had to fit in with that. So what? You don't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. So what? You don't see my greatness. So what? You don't understand how I do what I do. This is what I've been called. And you let a little pain stop you from your dreams. I didn't quit because people didn't understand. I worked harder when people didn't support me. We never stop. I wake up every single day and I will prove to the world that I was here. Please.